Happy Monday! Welcome to another edition of BusLiving.com and the conversion of Mary. Uh, I've done a lot on the bus uh, here lately. Got uh, quite a few things to share with you. Some progress. Uh, but first, let's 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 get into. Uh, I've been getting messages. Uh, responses on uh, uh, YouTube uh, so we'll call this uh, the mailbag that's a good generic name right so all right public comments I've got only got two from Maximilian hi this is Jane. Well, hi, Jane. From Stotus 2. Hi, where are you based and where are you planning on traveling to? Well done on the build. Well, thanks, Stotus. Um, I responded on YouTube, but I'll tell you. I'm currently based in Red Oak, Texas. And uh, my first trip is going to be in about a month. And that's going to be to Austin, Texas. Kind of a trial run. Feel it out, see what kind of changes I need to make to the bus. Uh, and then, uh, in May, I plan on going to Southern California. Uh, that's for business, kind of expand my business and uh, touch base with some realtors out there and some friends. Uh, then after that, uh, I plan on hitting all 48 states, maybe Canada, maybe Alaska. I don't know. We'll see when we get there or... To that point but uh yeah and thanks for the, the com comment on the build it's coming along so moving on i got a private message uh, this is from kj dear hippie bus guy i like your bus but instead of giving it a makeover you should give yourself one you kind of look like a homeless guy with your long, ugly beard and you greasy hair. She meant your. Uh, that look is out. You might be decent looking if you take if you took care of yourself. You should try Dollar Shave Club. Sincerely, KJ. Well, thanks, KJ. Uh, constructive criticism is always appreciated. Sorry you don't like my look. Uh, don't have any excuses. I just, uh, I'm actually growing my hair back out uh, eventually. I've uh, grown my hair out and donated six times. I grow pretty good hair. And uh, yeah, sorry it looks greasy. I'll, I'll see what I can do about that. Well, all right. Well, KJ, just for you, I'll go get a makeover right now. How's that? Let's go. Well, I 
used to be all over that routine. Mm -hmm. I haven't been in that routine for a while. Right. So that one's my favorite. Well, just length. Yeah, he's a and pretty dude. Shape and, <laughs> and I like the way it's shaped right here. And I would. And I was thinking about something like that, right? But at the same time, that's really high maintenance. Like, <laughs> but it's so cool looking. Um, and that one was kind of cool, but I was thinking beard-wise, I like it. He's like a more attractive arch boxer in the makeup. Are you open to color? Yeah, yeah, because even when I grow it back out full length, this color will be gone. Like red? I don't like red, but like copper. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. See, and I can see blonde too. Subtle and it's not like, oh, you need to get your boots done. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Again, high maintenance, right? We, we can grow it if you need. <laughs> Hey! 
Ta da! Okay, so, uh, this is not the same day. This is the next day. I even put the same shirt back on. But, anyways, going for the effect. So, as you can probably tell by the, uh, the ladder footage, it was rainy and miserable. And, uh, after going to dinner, driving home for an hour, it was still raining and it was really nice outside. So I just decided to lay down and I slept for 11 hours. It was lovely. Uh, and it's still raining as you can see here. It's been this way all day. It's going to be this way all week. Uh, I'm actually probably going to bring the saw inside into the front section so that I can continue to work on stuff because the rain kind of is debilitating. But anyways, uh, thank you so much to Stephanie Bunn of Hair by Bunn in Plano, Texas. All of our information will be below. And I'll go ahead and put it right here. See? Stephanie! Yay! She's awesome. Uh, old dear friend. And it was great catching up with her. And doing all this fun girly stuff. It we didn't go very extreme. Um, I think she was afraid to. She always knew me as a guy with long hair. And... Uh, I usually am a guy with long hair, but, uh, you know, I needed a trim and, you know, brought the beard down, tamed it a little bit, added a little, little bit of color. I never do color, but, uh, we did this time and, uh, I'm happy with the subtleness. She had some really cool pictures. Uh, and I still, you know, we were talking again last night and I may go more extreme, but until then. Back to the bus build. What have I done on the, over the past week or so? Uh, I guess it's been two weeks. Uh, let's start with the closet. Uh, back by the bedroom. Uh, Lindsay came by, helped, and uh, completely finished framing the walls surrounding the closet. And uh, put up the uh, wood panels for the walls put up a nice shelf and I now have clothes hanging in there and stuff on the shelf and drawers so I'm organized so every little step I make I'm a little more organized in the bus and it makes it living on the bus easier so I don't have to go into the house as much but uh, so very happy with the closet uh, I am going to there's still more work to do I'm going to close it in so there's a little sliding door uh, built-in drawers, uh, but this is a start. So, next, next on the list, we got to the cabinets. Um, I had these cabinets here, and they uh, they were hanging behind the driver's seat. So I pulled those down, and. I slid them down to the kitchen. Well, I carried them and slid them into a little frame I made, and it worked out great. I got them up, got them attached. They're solid, they're sturdy, and again, I'm more organized. Uh, here's a little bit from the build. Took these cell brackets. Mark my holes. Down here and down there. I'm going to pull this sucker down again and uh, mark, put these on and drill out and uh, thread some holes in the steel beams above. So, uh,
Okay, that didn't work out. Self tapping it is. So, yeah, I'm just pre drilling these so that I can take the L brackets right in and all is well. It's back! Yay! All right, now I gotta get the signal where it needs to be, though. Let's see. It held. Thanks, duct tape. Alrighty, and there you have it. There's my uh, cabinets. Um, pretty happy with them. And after I got the cabinets in, uh, I did. I had some little cheap, uh, I don't want to th say throw away, but I had these little LED lights that are battery operated. And I'm still going to use them because you can stick them anywhere. They're great. They're just little puck lights here. Bing. See? These little things. Pretty cool, huh? And, uh, but they're battery operated. Uh, I unlock this thing. Takes, uh, three triple A's. And I usually use rechargeables, but I didn't have any available. So, uh, but I can leave these around the bus. Right now, they're, I keep one in the closet along with my little flashlight thing hanging in there. Uh, so I can see because I haven't put lighting in. I'm going to put motion detector lights in the closet once I get the door up. So that'll be cool. Uh, but I ended up getting these lights, these LED lights, I really like. I have not installed all of them yet, but this is all it is. They're connected. Uh, that's the inside. Anyways, that's all it is. And here's the version with the diffuser on it. Then, so I mounted up mounted them up under the counter and uh, I ran power up to the cabinet. I'm also going to put lights in the cabinet that have pressure sensors on the door so when I open them they'll light up the area I'm looking at. They're also going to be LEDs but these lights these came in a pack of six. Uh, really good price. I'll link it below. Uh, I recommend them. I think they're great. Uh, I'm going to use all six on both sides of the kitchen once I get the other uh, header cabinet up and it'll be cool. I also got the uh, the sink drain in, which will also be the drain for the uh, toilet. So right now I don't have a gray water installed yet. There will be one underneath the kitchen, and that will collect from the shower, the toilet, and the sink. And until then, uh, since I'm just mainly doing water, uh, it's uh, run into a hose under the bus and down to the creek. So it's clean, it's all natural good stuff. Not, no uh, bathroom fluids yet. I should have the gray water soon enough. And uh, here's a little, uh, it was not super easy getting a hole in the bottom of the bus, but here's a little footage from when I did it. I drilled a hole uh, from the bottom of the bus uh, under the sink 
And now, it's just a small hole, the pilot hole. Now I'm trying to get through a two inch hole for the drain. It's fun, see? Right, got the quarter drill now. Alright, time to find other tools. Alright, quick visit to Lonnie's, and he had a two inch, which is really what I wanted, because that'll hold the pipe perfectly. Uh, but they didn't have any two inches at the Home Depot. So, let's see how this thing works. have a hole I see daylight sweet perfect time to cut some pipe got two nice little pieces of PVC Let's go see how they fit. Right at the bottom, see all that open space? That's gonna be gray water. is a drain. Oh, it's hot. Love it. So I made a little short junction, putting a 60 degree on it. So there you have it. Uh, I have a functional drain. I've had to do a few little fixes because there were a few leaks. Um, a little tip when installing drains, this is in a house or in a bus. You have to be careful when you're tightening the, uh, the outer ring not to use vice grips because I bent the uh, threaded part in and uh, that caused a lot of leakage. But got it fixed, silicone it up. Everything works great now. Uh, I still have my temporary water solution. I'm going to move the heater inside and create a fabricate a exhaust because heat comes up off the top. And uh, yeah, so the next thing I got done is my pantry. This little space between the refrigerator and uh, where the counter is going to go. It's only about just under 10 inches, but I want to utilize that space from you know floor to ceiling. So I built this pantry. It's uh, it's slide out. I'm very happy with it. I made it from drawer slides, as you'll see, and uh, various pieces of wood. So I'm working on the cabinets. Remember these file cabinets? Well. I never plan on using them as file cabinets or the drawers or anything else. The wood wasn't bad, but uh, we've had a lot of rain, freezing, 
Eh, it swelled it out. Oh well. I could have reused these drawers, but no. I probably reused the handles. But what I really wanted with these things were these smooth slides. Uh, one of the things I'm going to use it for is my pantry, which I'm working on now. And four slides. Four slides, four rails. And my screws are in this drawer, so I'm going to take the whole damn thing. See, I have conquered. It's all the, I want to get all the holes drilled so that, because I can't take this all in one piece into the bus because the way I'm mounting it, uh, I need to have access to get on the inside and I like using a drill, eh, it'll limit me. I really hate these screws, I'm going to put different ones in. See that? Sturdy. Yeah, so two by eights it will be. Uh, this isn't long enough, but this will be one one of the foot, one of the head. This is the as you can see. The sun is beginning to set. On another lovely evening in Red Oak, Texas. All right, it's the next day. Uh, started work on this again, and the pieces I was going to use for the front and the back got water damaged, so they're all swollen and pretty much useless to me right now. So I'm going to make a trip to Home Depot. I'm back from Home Depot and I got stuff. So I'm gonna put this thing together. I think. So I need more wood. Uh, these prime parts, uh, one by fours. These are gonna be the sides of the shelves. And they're gonna be grooved or slotted, whatever. And then plywood bottoms. And that's where they'll be. There'll be one of these on each side holding the drawer in. And then the front will overlap all of this. It's over there. Uh, 
So I've got a gig tonight, so I, I don't have time to go to Home Depot and back. So tomorrow, back to Home Depot and finish this sucker up. Let's hope it doesn't rain. So this is going to be the slide. I didn't have the pieces for two more of the uh, shelves. But as you see, I use a 2x4 prime and then uh, plywood in between. I grooved on that and lined them up by their grooves. And it does slide in and out so far on its side. Uh, so it should do just fine and vertical. I've got two of the sliders at the top and two at the bottom. So let's see what I can get done. Using one that I already have, but uh, this will allow some alignment. It doesn't slide smoothly yet. I'm gonna have to make some adjustments, but. Put a nice little handle on it. So, here's a pantry. So that's my pantry build. Uh, I'll continue to tweak just as I, as I will with everything else. But, uh,. Until next time, bye-bye. Once I got the pantry in, I also added the counter on the other side of the kitchen uh, and the shelf with a microwave on it. And as you'll see here, it's uh, got the microwave in. It's plugged in and I've been using it. It's awesome. Uh, made a few adjustments to the other counter, the raised counter. And that's about it. Um, I don't I still got the rain going on so I don't know what I'm gonna do next I'm hoping that uh, it'll clear up they're saying it's not gonna clear up until Sunday and it's currently Tuesday but yeah oh well what can you do it's a dreary rainy day which I love rain but when I want to get stuff done it doesn't help me at all so well anyways that's it for this episode I kept it shorter uh, none of them will be as long as that episode 3 but uh, please comment below ask me questions give me mail I'll read them don't be so critical and if you don't like the way I look draw a mustache on me on your your own monitor yeah I do that but anyways, comment below, like below, uh, subscribe, please subscribe. Uh, being today is the 20th, I lost uh, my little partner thing, the monetization, but anyway, I'm still going to do it. Uh, I need a thousand subscribers for them to pick it back up. Hopefully it'll work out.